Hi, welcome to Cartier V5 video tutorial. Now the reference planes or datum planes in Cartier V5. Similar to the NX planes, you have a whole lot of options and you can do as in Siemens NX if you go for a plane, you have always the option to create the needed elements on the fly. So let's have fun with Kitty V5. Okay, so let's go for the datum plane. And there is some sort of intuitive mode like the inferred one in NX, but it doesn't work quite as well. So the green lock means it's in the intuitive mode. So the program tries to help you. Now I got offset from plane and if by accident or intentionally select a line, it would switch to a different option. Yeah. And if I go, for, let's say for a point, it might cause an error. No, it worked. So this could work, but I really like to lock this in and select my option and go for that option. So offset from plane, obviously select a plane and you could give it a distance. Let's say 50 for example. Okay. There's no apply option, so I have to restart the command, go for another datum plane. You have of course uh, normal to curve. So I select that spline for example and don't get irritated by that move that means only that you can move the symbol of the plane not the plane itself so the default position on that curve would be the middle but you could as in an X create a different point on the fly let's go for on curve select that curve and distance on curve zero would be at the, at the beginning of that curve and you could go for a ratio 0 0.5 would be the middle if you go for one it would be at the end of that curve yeah. so let's go for a middle point and confirm and now you can confirm your plane And if you select the plane again, you could of course edit that point. So let's cancel this out. We have not as many options as NX in this category. NX is by far the winner. And if the development in NX is as fast and good as over the last years i think the winner will sooner or later take it all but let's go for another data plane and of course you could choose uh, three points so one point another point and maybe that point would be the third point and you get a plane through those three points it's not as obvious obvious as in NX because that plane symbol is a little bit small and it's through the first point. Let's cancel this. A bisecting plane. You could of go course go for a plane with an angle, so go here lock and go for an angle, normal to plane. So if you choose a line and a reference plane, maybe this one, you can give it an angle, let's say 30 degrees, and you got a plane with an angle to a reference plane. Let's see what have we next. Tangle to the surface, of course, mean through points. That's interesting. So you could have some sort of point cloud and it would do a plane mean or sort of middle 
in the middle of all those points. Yeah, so if I select a point and a point and a point and another point, not three but more points, it would sort of try to be in the middle of all those points. Yeah. Cancel. That's an option which is, I think, not available in X, but I really don't need it. So, maybe a last one. You have interesting option here, which means you could do more planes after the OK with the same settings. So it would be easy to, uh, for example, do, let's choose uh, maybe the set plane and go for reference, maybe this one, and make it five degrees. And if you say repeat object after OK, I could do more instances, let's say 20. I could go for a new geometrical set absolute relative and make it OK. So you will get a whole bunch of those planes always by rotated by 10, 20, 30, 40 and so on. And they will be put all together in one geometrical set. And you have these options, repeat after OK for many of those planes and that might be quite useful. And there is one more or two more things. Uh, here with the datum plane you have another option. You could create points and planes. So let's see what happens there. You can select the first point, maybe this one. Go for a curve and then say you want to have instances or instances in spacing so you could divide those curves with planes and equal distances or you could go for spacing and instances so i will go for let's say uh, maybe 10 along that spline and you could create normal planes also but now it would only create points so I could go for create normal planes again in a new geometrical set and ok so you got 10 of those planes along that curve normal to that curve through points and those points should have all the same distance and therefore the planes as well. And there is a third option to take a closer look at the third option. So I want to hide those sets and hide, hide, hide this one, the access system maybe as well and it's kind of a morphing from one plane and direction into another plane and direction so for which one should I go that's the one with an angle yeah, maybe from this one to that one. So let's hide this plane. Go for that planes between command. Select one. Select another. And let's go for ten instances. And confirm. So it's a little bit hard to see, but I can move that symbol. I could move that over here which would be maybe the better solution. So let's move this one. And I don't move the plane, I just move the representation of that plane and then move, move it here. You will see in 10 steps 
I move from that plane almost into this one. I sort of morphed over there. So I never needed that option, but it might be useful. And that concludes this video. So if you liked it, or if you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe to my Facebook cat fan page. I want to get more subscriptions and likes over there as well. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye bye.